Last time, wherever we left off, we created the bar and the percentage as well as showing our wins. Today, what we're going to be working on is game passes such as 2 times speed, 2 times jump, and 2 times wins. Anyway, without further ado, let's go. So first, we're going to, to go to a uh, subscript service. We're going to create a folder. In this folder, I'm just going to name this game passes. Just like this. And with that, we're going to add in a script. And I'm going to actually call this one uh, two times script. Oh, no. Two times wins game. No. Two times wins game pass. Okay, guys. So the script is here. This we're going to put as zero. Fuck. And what this does is it's going to make sure that even if you guys didn't put it as wins, you put it as money, coins, cash, money, coins. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. As long as you've just got one of these that's called wins, then it's fine. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us two times wins whenever we win. So, well, if we own the game pass, of course. So, for example, if I go into the game now, you'll see that when we go, oh, specific game does not, it, yeah. So, for example, yeah, the there's no game pass at the moment that's expected but as you can see when we win it's not going to give us two wins it's only going to give us one win see and it resets us so now we actually have to go onto roblox studio and we are going to have to create a game pass and then over here in create you're going to press it then you're going to want to go to view all Then you want to go to the game that you are on, aka the one that you that you, the one that you are making. I'm gonna press create badge. You're gonna press or cancel. Then you want to scroll down. You want to go to passes. You're gonna to want to create pass. Now this doesn't really matter. Okay. Now that I have my wins, I'm gonna change the name to two times wins. You don't need a description. You can now press create pass. Then you want to click on it. You want to go to sales, item for sale. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to change the price. Because I'm only making this game as a tutorial, I'm only going to price it at two Robux. However, really this is up to you guys and whatever you want. I'm going to press save change. Okay, once you have your price, then you want to go back to associated items. Then you want to click on this red dot and copy it. Copy asset ID. Then when we're back into the game, we can go over here and we can change our game pass ID. And so now, when we play the game, you'll see that we no longer get the error. And if we walk over to our great old win block, instead of giving us regular just one win, it's going to give us two wins so from three to five and there you go you can see that we have five here not sure why it says four in the print but honestly who's going to be pressing f9 in that game okay so now that we have the wins system working for the game passes we're going to want to create another script and in this script we're going to be doing two times jump so for this we're going to do name we go two times jump now for this one, this is a super super duper easy one that you can do. This one is going to do local um, local ID is equal to seven. Oh, not seven. Sorry, I'm just so used to putting seven. Zero equals equals local jump equals fourteen point four. Let's say, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do game get service marketplace service dot dot prompt game pass finished ok 
connect function. And I'm just trying to figure out what we would do after this. Um, I think we would do game function, connect function, open brackets, uh, player, comma, I do, comma, purchased, perch, purchased, I think that's how you would spell it. Anyway, then we're going to do if purchased and I do equals equals ID then player player sorry dot dot character char cow character dot humanoid dot jump height that's not useful height height equals jump then you're gonna do once again you want basically just copy this control C and enter control V it and then instead of doing this we're going to first go ahead and do game dot players dot player added connect function and this one we're just going to do player end and then we're going to copy this control C delete it and paste it into here and what we're going to do is we're going to do um, we base oh wait no we don't need to copy sorry <laughs> I've just realized we do not need to Let's just rescript this. We'll do player dot character added connect function connect function and then this one we're gonna just put char char is for character and if game if game get service dash marketplace service and then comma user owns ID game pass a sync game dot players game dot players and then open square brackets character dot name you're gonna do outside of these dots you're gonna do dot user ID comma ID and outside Oh, and then outside of here you're gonna do or and I'm trying to think or player user ID or player dot user ID user ID equals equals zero then and boom so then after this we can do character or char dot human character dot humanoid dot jump height jump height equals jump alright then so now when we play the game you'll see that we don't oh no user ID oh yeah okay we do not have a user ID so we just jump normal or height However, once again, we're going to want to create the game pass two times jump local ID control V control V and now when we press play we should jump no oh god what's happened we're gonna need this number sorry about that the uh, link will be in the uh, the scripts will always be in the description as you know user ID is not a valid number alright I'm gonna spend some time trying to figure this out alright guys sorry so um, I misspelled something within it uh, sorry about that one but anyway when we press play now as you can tell there's no error and when I jump I obviously can tell that I have double jump now we're gonna do the exact same for walk speed 
book speed is not going to be much different. And what we can do is we can just duplicate the two times jump, call this one two times speed, go onto it. Instead of local jump, we're going to do local sp oh, local speed, and then we can go over here. Control V, Control V. So we jump height, we do walk speed. And then we do control C, control V, oops, control V. And that's practically it. And now, well, hang on, I've also got to make the ID and, and paste it in. And so now you can tell, oh, no. For some reason, my speed isn't very fast. Oh, sorry, because I haven't actually changed it. Uh, I need to do 32, because the regular is 16 normally. Because the regular is normally 16, if we change it to 32, that's exactly double. And now you can tell that we go way, 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 way faster. All right. And with that, I think that's going to be the end of the video. If you want the Game Pass icons which I've made, they are in the description below. They are free. However, when we actually make the icons and all the labels, they will also be free when the time comes. And with that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.